Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we'll be working on this pastel glitter manicure for Easter. I have so much loose glitter that I'm always kind of looking for different ways to use it and experimenting. And if you'd like to see some of my past attempts, you can of course check out my channel. And if you want to see my future attempts, make sure you're subscribed with those notifications turned on. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to apply my base coat. I'm using my normal peel-off base coat, ready for takeoff. And you can use whichever is your personal favorite. For your base color, you just want any nice, basic, plain white. And today I'm going to be using Zoya Purity. Okay, I'm going to just quickly go over the glitters that I'm going to be using. These are Recollections glitters, which you can find at Michael's. The pink is blush. The orange is apricot. The yellow is sunflower. For green, we have mint. The blue is frost. And then the purple, which is the only one that's really kind of not a pastel, but I think it still goes well with these, is Fairy Dust. And hopefully it comes across that all these have kind of a subtle shimmer to them in kind of a greenish-blue tone. So the, the undertone of shimmer for all the colors is very similar. And to stick these, after I did my... Uh, glitter application over a tacky layer of gel. I had a lot of people telling me I should try it with foil glue, which I didn't have any at the time because mine was all dried up. But ta da, I do now have some foil glue, and so that's what I'm going to be applying on my nails. Slightly trickier because I am using a white base, so I'm not really going to be able to see where I'm applying it. I'm just going to have to kind of trust my instincts and try to get nice even coats and also because I won't be able to see when it's dry. It goes on milky and then as it dries it goes clear so I decided to kind of show you guys that I have just a little swatch of black polish here and I'm just going to do a, like one swipe of glue over it. So there you can see it goes on milky. I'm just going to set this off to the side. That'll actually work in my favor so that I'll know when my nails should be dry also. And I'm just going to try to apply a very thin, even layer on all my nails. Okay, so it's been just a couple minutes and the glue is fully dry. And here you can see the little bit I did over black is fully clear. So if you're applying it over any kind of color polish, that's how you can easily tell. And that was pretty much my gauge since I was doing it over white. Now you want to be very careful with the glitter, of course, as you open it up because, it, I mean, it's going to go everywhere regardless because it's, it's glitter and that's what it does. But you definitely don't want to spill the whole container. I've got just a makeup sponge here, and these particular kind of sponges, this slightly wider end has the exact angle that I want. It's like a 60 degree triangle, so six of these will exactly fit to put the colors on my nails. And I'm just going to dip the corner in, and it actually doesn't pick up the glitter super, super well. So I may need to like re-dip it. I'm just going to carefully put that off to the side. And I'm going to put the point toward the center of my nail and the straight edge right up the middle. And I'm just going to sponge it on like that. And I'm going to just sponge on a little bit more carefully, dipping my sponge into the glitter. I do also have, and I may go to one of these as the glitter, if the glitter gets lower 
in the container. Just a little dish that I've made from basically the bottom of the paper cup, you know, that little ridge at the bottom. I've just cut that off. It makes a really nice little container. In fact, I am. I'm going to go ahead and just pour some of this out because it's going to make things much easier, I think, than dipping into the little vial. So, see if I can keep that on the corner of the screen there. And I'm just going to go and apply the pink to all of my nails. I'm gonna go ahead and do my right hand too. Um, I'm just basically trying to only have to deal with each color of glitter one time. And I managed to get a hair stuck in the glue on my ring finger here. Hopefully the glitter will cover that up if you can see it kind of on the bottom half there, but We'll see, because I'm quite a few colors away from covering that part of my nail. Okay, so I've got all my pink applied. I want to just eyeball and make sure. I think I want just a little bit more on this tip here and it's not fully opaque if you wanted it to be even darker even kind of closer to what it looks like in the bottle you might have to go ahead with like another layer of glue and another layer of glitter but I've stuck as much as will stick on here and I'm gonna just carefully <laughs> we'll see if this even works here kind of tap this to one side here and then this still on camera yeah carefully dump it back in the vial and I mean like I said the glitter is gonna go everywhere you can see it on my paper towel here there's a little bit of leftover residue in my little cup holder here but I'm just gonna actually blow eh, there's still some in there and it's getting already <laughs> all over my hands but I mean my, my work surface is already covered with old glitter so it's not that big of a deal and on your hands you can just wash once you're all done um, as far as the sponge the sponge does still have some stuck on there to you you can kind of like flick the sponge I'll show you like on the clean end like just kind of and the glitter will fly off I don't want quite that much glitter flying around so I'm just going to use the other side of the sponge and uh, then either I'll use this end over here for some other sponging later or use the rest of it for like some testing but for my actual manicure I'm going to want clean corners for each color and next I'm gonna go ahead and apply purple and I am going to be working in Roy G. Biv order well I'm not applying them in a Reggie Biv order but they're going to be in that order on my nails whether you want to apply them in a different order is up to you I will note, which I knew and still didn't properly uh, plan for, be careful as you're putting the glitter back in the vial. You can see I got quite a bit of purple where I didn't really want purple, but we'll deal with it. I'm not going to like remove all the polish from that nail and start over, but uh, I'll just try to cover it up as best as possible. And next we'll be applying blue and one other note, um, I kind of mentioned that when you first start, the sponge 
doesn't really want to pick up a ton of glitter. As you go along, the sponge will get a little bit of the tackiness from the glue. So it will begin to pick up more glitter as you go along. And for each kind of section, you just want to line up next to the section you previously did. So I don't think that was on camera very well. And I'm trying not to also stick the sponge or stick my hand into my other nails that are all sticky right now. So a little bit tricky, several things to keep in mind, but I'm really liking how this is turning out. missed most of the orange there because my battery died <laughs> nothing new with that and you can see here that I have quite the mess on my paper towel in fact if I even you guys can see here you can almost like uh, create a little pile of it you know and I've got it all over my hands and uh, yeah, that's the downside of working with loose glitter. I'm definitely going to have to wash my hands to get rid of all this because even brushing them together doesn't do too much. But I'm going to go in this somewhat glitter-free area of my paper towel and just give each nail a little bit of a brushing off. I'm just using my fingers because my fingers are already covered with glitter. <clears throat> with glitter, excuse me. And you just don't want too much loose glitter as you top coat. If you see any spots where it's like really gotten into your cuticle, you can go in with like a cuticle stick, an orange stick, and get it out. Um, could even go in with like your normal cleanup brush and acetone if it's really stubborn in there. But for the most part, I was trying to be quite careful as I applied the glue. I don't think any of this is actually glued in there. It's just kind of stuck in there. Um, and then for my top coat, since this is loose glitter, and even though I'm attempting to brush off most of the excess, I don't want to contaminate my main bottle of Seche Feet. So I actually have a bottle that I put glitter on the top and I use this bottle just when I'm doing glitter so that if there's anything that's loose it's just in this bottle and not in my main bottle and I'm thinking I'm probably going to need two coats of the top coat in order for this not to be gritty so I'm going to do the first coat let that dry and then I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat. So I finished this manicure and immediately headed out the door to grandma's house again. So I've actually already got about a day of wear on this and one thing I can definitely say is that and I'm not surprised, but this manicure seriously like drinks top coat. After the first layer of top coat, by the time it dried, you couldn't even tell it was on there. The texture was still very sandy and very gritty. The second layer of top coat pretty much smoothed things out, but only for like a couple hours. The way Sesh Feet works, it's mostly dry, I mean like dry to the touch, within a few minutes. But it continues to dry, and as it did, 
it continued to kind of sink in to the point where now these are back again to a sandy gritty texture and that's not the only thing I'm frustrated with this manicure um I do like most of the colors and I did in fact get the grandma seal of approval which is always great but the problems that I have with it I have no one but myself to blame I had been testing some other designs with glitter and I actually only checked how two of these colors applied before starting my manicure the ones that I was playing with were all showing up pretty accurate to how they looked in the vial but once I started with this I was really disappointed with the green the yellow and most especially the orange which you honestly barely can see um, it <laughs> you made like my thumb here is probably the best representation of what I wanted to do but on some of my other nails the orange is pretty much invisible but it does still give a very Easter vibe you know it's still pastel it's still sparkly it's still pretty but it's not quite what I wanted and you guys know how much that irritates me so I kind of when I finished I'd wished that I had just done pink purple and blue and then repeated it but maybe I'll revisit it at another time I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments if you want to be sure to see my next attempt with loose glitter be sure you're subscribed and turn on those notifications if you're looking forward to the peel porn stay tuned for about five more seconds and if not as always thanks for watching all right I've had this on for about two days and I'm really glad I didn't plan on wearing it longer because it's wearing very poorly if you can see like around the sides here and even at the cuticle on the sides here really gnarly here and here I mean I don't know it's like I know I top coated those areas it's not like I miss top coating those and that's why it's peeling off or it's not even exactly peeling off it's like the glitter is wearing away so I don't know what was up with that maybe a side effect of using the foil glue it's almost like that never really dried even under the top coat and then it ended up just wearing away in a really weird way but I wasn't very happy with these in any case and hadn't planned to wear them long anyway because I wanted to get them up hopefully I'm not sure if I'll make Saturday night but if you need some entertainment on Sunday to get away from your family during Easter you may be watching this so for those of you who stuck around enjoy the peel porn